Welcome to another installment of Outside the Ring. It's it, today is kind of a depressing story. Oh, yeah, you were telling me about this off the air. It's uh, it's kind of sad. It it's very it, well. It's not sad. It's more like you know realizing that WWE has fallen this fall. But and it we have not. And who are we? I'm the one, the only Jason. Murphy. That's right, Murphy. <laughs> Alongside yes. the one, the only Stone Cold Troy. I'm. I just. I don't. I. I don't want to talk about this subject today because it. It just makes me that mad. You rather talk about beer? Yes. Austin. <laughs> I just take a guess by your last name there. <laughs> Twitter outside the ring with the number one. Facebook outside the ring and our email. Outside the ring three sixteen at gmail dot com. So tell me about it. Uh, it has to do with the new show Saturday Morning Slam. Mm-hmm. And as most of us probably know, it's flat G rated. It, it, it is directly marketed towards small children. And on the September 22nd episode of Saturday Morning Slam, they had to edit out Zack Ryder's Rough Rider finishing move he used to defeat William Regal because of the rule that no moves to the head or neck are allowed. There were unconfirmed reports online this week about the CW Network heads being high on Ryder, but not on his finishing move. So, honestly, it sounds like we might be looking forward to another finisher coming from Zack Ryder. That way he can be on this Saturday morning slam garbage. So you're saying, what about like a clothesline? Is that allowed? I, I, I would think that a clothesline is allowed as long as it hits him in the chest. <laughs> wow. It, so a bulldog, no. No, no, uh, no bulldogs, no. Choke slams. No choke slam. Well, a choke slam might be able to to, you might be able to do because they take the impact on the front of their back. Is this is what we've come to, huh? Yeah, no, like no, like trouble in paradise for Kofi Kingston. Right. No, uh, well, I don't even remember what our truth calls his finisher, but none of that. Right. Uh, John Cena's fine though, but honestly, yeah. is John Cena going to show up on Saturday morning <laughs> Slam? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think anybody. So, again, you know, I no go to sleep. Nothing. No, definitely no go to sleep. No skull crushing finale. No, no skull crushing finales. Why is this? Why not just if you're gonna do a weekend show, like why not just do like, why not just do like the uh, the Sunday superstars like they used to do? Why do we have yeah, to go or, or or you know or uh, the, the old heat and velocities? Yeah, why go TVPG or TVG? Who knows? Has there ever you know, been a wrestling show that has been, like, straight-up TVG? I don't think there has ever been. Uh, you know, what do they do on that show? Yeah. I, I don't mean, know. They're still in there beating the hell out of each other, right. and they can somehow get away with a G rating? Doesn't make what any sense. What are they doing? fights? <laughs> yeah. That that could be next. Don't 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 question it. The, the turnbuckle pads are made of pillows. Oh, and like I said, this is just how far WWE has fallen. You know, back in the Attitude Era, stuff like this would, was never heard of. They probably encouraged people to come up with moves that targeted the neck and the head to make it look more painful. And now, pro wrestling, so, man. That's professional yeah. wrestling. Uh, now it's not. Now it's like. Watching an episode of Blues Clues or something. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much what it is. And then we've got the new show debuting tonight, which would be Wednesday, October 3rd, for anybody who's watching it the, yeah. way down the line. What do you think of this? Yeah. you think this is, has... The, it's got a good main event. It, yeah, it, it, it's WWE main event. Right. And I haven't heard anything about it. I don't know if it's rated G, which I'm hoping it's not. It can't be. Uh, CM Punk it, it comes. Is, uh, they're fighting tonight. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it's coming on here in about 45 minutes. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to hold out anything for it, because, you know, I never do with WWE anymore. Now, is this going to be on every Wednesday? I'm, I'm that's guessing. That's a hell of a man. I, lo- I love the uh, the punk Sheamus match. I mean, that's going to oh, yeah. make people want to watch. Yeah, and I don't you know, know what I'm else is on it. 
you know, and WWE almost has the entire week covered. They've got Monday, they've got Wednesday, they've got Fridays, they've got, they've got Saturdays. And I think they're doing it from like um, almost like a marketing ploy. Like, how can I say this? Like, if they do it like almost like a TV station would. Like, if you have your whole week covered. Like, if the NFL, the NFL is actually doing that now too. If you notice, like they're actually doing like Monday night football, mm-hmm. and then you have. Wednesday night or no no they have Thursday night football games now they yeah. have Friday night no that's I'm thinking of college <laughs> I'm getting kind of all over the place college football oh does. oh oh by the way there's um but almost every that. week the NFL has something going on now yeah it's and, almost uh, like what they're trying to do yeah and, and uh, not meaning to cut you off here or anything but um I did see a report that uh Raw was second right behind Monday night football really yeah, so oh. WWE, so their their prediction that we had last week yep. of the, of it being the lowest rated and watched whatever of the year yeah that went out the window yeah that yeah. was just a, that was just a report I saw online it might have been something from a dirt sheet it might not have what been confirmed, the, uh, but what was the overall rating it got I didn't see that yet that's got to be somewhere online probably by tomorrow yeah. it'll, it'll be out there. But I, it's just like they're trying to compete with the NFL or, mm-hmm. or again, you know, college football, where back in the day it was like, hey, the NFL is only on Monday and Sunday. And, you know, college football, college football, I think now they have Thursday night games. They have Friday night games, which I thought was always high school football Fridays. Yeah. And then on Saturdays they have some. So it's almost they're like Vince is like, oh, we need to branch out and just have a day every you know what i mean mm-hmm. i that's my guess i don't know why they're all of a sudden having all these shows i found it you found it uh and the final raw rating for this week is a 2.5 which tna wishes they could pull in 2.5 well yeah but this is the lowest non-holiday raw in 15 years so that well that came true then yeah that part but it wasn't like a, a yeah, it, it wasn't business. like a, like the like the lowest viewed of the year or anything. It actually did fairly good at a two and a half. That's not bad. That's not bad. Well, comment below and let us know what you think. Yeah, yeah. What are your thoughts on this G rating Stupid. crap? Poopy. <laughs> I don't like it at all. I mean, from a business standpoint, it's good. You're marketing towards kids. You want them to buy your toys. You want them to buy your DVDs, your games, all that. From a marketing standpoint, it's good but because you're going you're gonna to get that money from them. But from a, a viewer standpoint that grew up with the Attitude Era, even late Attitude, early PG Era, mm-hmm. what do you think about this? That, that now we've gone completely G-rated. Yeah. Speaking of marketing... We need subscribers. Please subscribe. <laughs> I like that? I like that segue. I'm the one. Yeah. The only Jason. Murphy! Whoa! Murphy? Whoa? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm saving my voice. I'm, I'm a little under the weather. Something as nasty is going around right now. I don't know. Laryngitis or something. Oh, jeez. And you are not laryngitis. You're actually Troy Stone Cold. <laughs> Troy Laryngitis? <laughs> Oh, no, there's rumors. He's coming back, by the way. Can't wait. Put him on Sunday night or Saturday night slam. There's rumors he's coming back, and I think I know exactly how they're going to use him. The new G. Oh, God. How? No, no. They're going to put him as AJ's little executive coach or whatever. I wish somebody would just kick him in the balls. I, I do, too. Kick him in the throat. Maybe you can fix his voice or something. I don't know. I think that's a great way to end this show. Yes. <laughs> we'll see you to What's tomorrow? Th- uh, Thursday, yeah. Tomorrow's we'll Thursday. See, we'll see you tomorrow outside the ring. Deuces.